morning good afternoon good evening and good night depending on your geographical location and time zone i am cordially nye welcome to another round of uh, street vlogging where we will discuss uh, issues around we are here again and i hope that uh, you are really enjoying our vlog we welcome the new subscribers returning subscribers welcome back to the family and the old subscribers i do appreciate all of you thank you for staying with us and what are the, what are we going to talk about we are going to talk about the issue raised by some of the people that about uh, that Tinubu will eventually finish up Nigeria and when he, f he does those uh, people who are who are bigots and uh, people that are are talking about a milicon a milicon will finally be silenced because the hardship that will that will hit them eventually will not allow them again to be saying what they've been saying and uh, they talk about uh, one of the one that said over his dead body that because he's not a bastard that he can only vote for a Yoruba person even if the person is a goat or a cow he will be loading it over Nigeria so that's what we are going to be discussing and uh, I urge you to like comment share and subscribe since the advent of uh, APC in Nigeria, it has been a sad story and negativity and downward spiral of the country. It's like a country that was uh, not not uh, far off from the from the um, from the top, but has been going da downwards. One of the comedians put it rightly when he shows a team that is supposed to be going to going to score suddenly started turning back to their own goal area and score in their own goal area. That's exactly what they are talking about, what APC has done to Nigeria. This uh, group of gangs, they said the association of past criminals. That's what uh, LAS, Association of Past Criminals. That's what the APC are known generally now in Nigeria. And um, Tinubu has the arrowhead while shouting a miloka, a miloka, they have to give it to him whether he's alive or not. And finally, they did a uh, abracadabra and he found himself in there. Highly unprepared highly incompetent and nothing in his body language shows that he even meant well for anybody. So, and since that time, the currency has completely damaged. The fuel, you are not talking about fuel anymore because it depends on where you live. You can buy as high as 2,000, 1,000, 1, a liter. This was the same Tinubu and Go that was protesting uh, Jonathan's for putting up fuel to I think almost 100 Naira a liter and they were deceiving everybody so and the bigotry has been increased during the election he engineered the bigotry against a particular ethnic Libos 
in Lagos and also threaten what they are going to do. Remember, the president's wife in the past has also threatened the Igbos, even before becoming a president. A viral video that was seen by everybody. So now, with the intense hardship, a lot of those Milokans have been silenced. And people have been showing them, okay, go to the market, like uh, Peter will be predicted, that bad leadership doesn't know who is Hausa, who is Yoruba, who is Fulani, who is Igbo, or who is Ibibi or Edo. That bad leadership affect everybody. So I let people with capacity, the energy, and the industry, and the wisdom, and human compassion to be your leader. That's the, the only thing Nigeria needed. Nigeria, God made Nigeria a great nation. But because it has not been fortunate with leadership, and that's how it has been, has been his major problem. Until that is solved, nothing moves forward. So now, most of these uh, bigoted uh, people are now seeing the, they are now seeing with their eyes what they have contributed and they also hearing the music very loud and clear so because they cannot be you know they cannot uh, wish a miloko to everybody and be away from a miloko they are enjoying the bigoted uh, ways i could remember some of them here when you talked about them, he said, oh, no, no. Uh, Tinubu built Lagos. Tinubu did this, that is this, blah, blah, blah. I said, look, Tinubu did not build Lagos. That's a propaganda that has been uh, uh, put out. That Tinubu, during the time he was there, Lagos was an eyesore, a mess. The beans, the rubbish everywhere. Everywhere was in a mess. The aboros were hammering everywhere. Nothing has changed. And even now, nothing much has changed. So the, we don't know which Lagos they are talking about. It was Lagos they were. They are talking about, it's a Lagos that is not existing. But the one we know is not, there are nothing like Tinubu there. So, and Lagos began long, long time, even before, <laughs> Tinubu was born. So now Nigerians have been divided on ethnic lines because of uh, bigotry uh, actions of this APC government. And, and I actually agree with this uh, opinion that says that they will, they will completely be cured, not by uh, their, that they want to be cured from bigotry, but because Finally, everybody is facing the music and they will actually face it more because they, they saw something that is black and call it white. And that's why they will actually face more. So that's that eventually when the Tinubu finish up Nigeria, everybody, including them, will now face the music. And that's what we are talking about today. You know, do you think the opinion of this guy is valid? I know that opinions are valid. Do you think uh, Tinubu will finally, you know, cure his uh, <laughs> cure his uh, supporters from bigotry? Do you think the eyes of his supporters will finally open? If you think so, go to the comment section and drop a this, drop a comment. Even some of them, their eyes are opening already because they've been talking on the online, talking how bad, how Tinubu deceived them that they thought he knows about the economies, they thought he was this, he was that, they don't know that he doesn't know anything. I'm telling you, they know that this guy is a package, this thing, because during the election, he has not been able to bring out any policy and stand and defend how he's going to uh, um, do that policy. You know, he dodged debate, he dodged any engage, proper uh, scrutiny. You know, sometimes he goes on a rally, he'll say, oh, let me dance for you. So, and sometimes you hear him making comments like, oh, um, uh, that are we going to eat statistics? 
So sometimes his, uh, his uh, arguments and some of his words is highly incoherent, inc inc you know, and has no value, has nothing. But Nigeria will face this shame until they uh, finally be dealt a final blow or delivered from bigotry. So, and you know now, Nigerian new constitution is a bigotry. Bigotry is now the new constitution of Nigeria. Nigeria is now a country that uh, the constitution is uh, bigotry. So, I hope that this country will come out of this, but unless there is a leadership, a proper leadership that is finally a Nigerian leadership, not a sessional leadership or incompetent leadership, that's what will actually bring this country from this mess we find itself. I want you to drop your own comments. But remember, we are here reacting to people's uh, opinions and we are here also saying it as it's happening because we are a real reality um, channel and we are channels that actually comment on everything, whatever that needs to be commented about. That's what we are here for and that's what we've been doing and that's what we promise ourselves we'll be doing. And I thank you for always joining us. I thank you for being with us. Thank you and have a wonderful time wherever you are. God bless you. And um, remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. I am Cordley NYE, the son of the wonderful. God bless. Bye.